you freeze green beans fresh out of the garden, you want to blanch them so that they maintain their color and flavor. Uh, blanch these in boiling water for three minutes and then plunge them into a cold ice bath until they're cool and then I will freeze them in vacuum sealed bags. So right now I'm going to get these washed just by filling up the bag with water, swishing them around, dumping the water out. And while I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to create some freezer bags with my uh, food saver. I think I'm probably going to need, if I go with probably two, two servings worth for each bag, I'm going to make them about that size. Alright, I have my five bags made up. So I've got my ice water ready to go. I'm going to plunge that in, the beans into there once they have blanched. I think I'm going to do these in probably maybe three batches of boiling, blanching and uh, cooling. So the first batch I'm going to do, I'm just going to snap them into bite-sized pieces and we'll freeze those that way. I remember doing this on the back porch out in Red Owl with my grandmother and my great-grandmother out in the country in the summertime when I was a kid. They had a, two huge gardens. I'll have to ask my dad how big the gardens were. And we would do, we would snap beans, shuck corn, and shell peas on that back porch. And they would can and can and can because they grew most of their own food. We made bread almost every day. Oh, probably every day. They had a dirt root cellar around the back of the house. I can still remember the smell. It smelled like soil and marjoram down there. But I think that's pretty much where I got my love of gardening and preserving food was from my memories of doing that out there in the country with them. The stem ends are already gone because when my son and I picked those, we left the stem end just on the plant and then we brushed off any blossoms that happened to be on the end. So I didn't have to do any cutting. Okay, my water is boiling, so I am going to put these beans into the boiling water. Beans are in the hot water. I'm going to set a timer for three minutes. That's three minutes, so let's get these in the ice water, in the ice bath. And then I'll get another batch. Hot. Get that water boiling again and get another batch going. What I'll do is put them on a drying towel first just so they're not soaking wet when they go into the freezer bag. So blanching, as I said, maintains their color and their flavor when they're frozen. Just going to slightly dry these so they're not sopping wet. They are beautiful. And then we'll get them put into this vacuum bag. These are my microfiber towels. I They're kind of grabby. But I use these as... I'm not completely paper towel free. There's just some things that you need paper towels for, really gross stuff that... You need to clean up, but um, I use these to clean up as rags. I use them as 
produce drying towels. I use them for all sorts of things. I got a box of 50 of them and I just wash them in the washing machine and keep them folded in a basket on my countertop. I want them to be flat when I seal them so that they freeze quickly and thaw quickly. Put the end in the vacuum channel, seal it down. I love my food saver. It makes vacuum, vacuum sealed food with this thing lasts so much longer in your freezer. The last batch, which I left whole, has blanched for three minutes. So we'll get that into the ice bath or what's left of it for a minute. These have had time to cool off. So let's get the, actually I'm going to save this water for watering some flowers. These will be nice for like a steak dinner or something fancy where they're long beans instead of cut up. And we'll get all these sealed up. Try to flatten them out again. And that's it. Today's green bean harvest has been processed and is ready for the freezer. So I've got one, two, three, four, five different meals worth ready to go. I just need to label them with my Sharpie. I'm going to keep one set upstairs in my freezer and then the rest will go downstairs in the big freezer. Rinse and repeat every couple of days because I have a lot of beans planted. That is the result, aside from the three loaves of sourdough that will be done sometime before bed tonight. Very productive day, but when the garden gives you produce, you basically have to do what you can to get it taken care of. You don't want to waste it, so it's all going in the freezer.